cells and B cells, very important topic from the biotechnology section. They are very helpful, helpful cells. Now, first of all, let us understand about, you know, the T cells, what are T cells, what are B cells, what are white blood cells and what is the difference between them, right? So T cells and B cells are the form of white blood cells, right? What are white blood cells? They are basically the immune. They basically help in the immune system of the body, all right? So uh, the, uh, the point over here is that there are various types of white blood cells, right? We will see it later. And T cells and B cells are some kind of it, right? So what is the basic difference between T cells and B cells? First of all is their origin, right? So they originate, the B cells as from the name uh, itself, it's clear, they originate in the bone marrow and they mature also in the bone marrow. That is the first thing. Where do they originate? They originate in the bone marrow and they originate, uh, mature also in the bone marrow. But the T cells, they originate in the bone marrow. But they get mature in the thymus. That is why this because of this thymus they are known as T. Right? And because of this bone marrow they are known as B cell. To identify the region where they are going to mature. Where they are going to develop. Alright? That is number one. Right? And then we have we can say T cells the lifespan is going to be longer. And for the B cells it can, it can even go to years. Right? And when we will see what exactly is the T cell and B cell, we will understand that what exactly is happening. And this life, uh, life, uh, lifestyle is, uh, life, uh, lifespan is basically a little bit shorter. So now let us have a look at what exactly these T cells do. So the, now in very simple terms, let us first of all understand. So these T cells are going to attack, you know, are going to fight directly. You know, fight directly. So there are T cells which are which are going to exactly fight, right? There are there are T cells which are going to regulate the fight. So we have the regulatory T cells, right? We have the helper T cells which are going to help in the strategizing things, right? Helper T cells, all right? And then we have the uh, cytotoxic T cells, right? We have the cytotoxic T cells which are going to for the fight directly. They are going to fight directly. So that is the characteristics of T cells. So basically they are the soldiers. They will strategize, they will fight and they will regulate. But what are the B cells? B cells, you know, you can, you can uh, uh, assume them like weapon manufacturing factory. So whenever some kind of threat comes in the body, these B cells will become active, right? And they will start producing these antibodies. So they will start producing what? Antibodies. So that is what is written over here. They produce antibodies and they attack the other cell, right? So they are going to directly uh, tackle. These are the soldiers, as you can, uh, just to remember, you can see this. And these are the weapon producing factories. These are the manufacturing factories for the producing the weapon, right? That is the basic difference between these two things. So there are various types of uh, WBCs as we talked about in the starting. There are neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils and basophils they have different functions now as you can see t cells and b cells come in the under the lymphocytes t cells and b cells what are neutrophils they are the first responders right and especially against the bacteria remember these things first responders neutrophils especially against bacteria what are monocytes right they are macrophages in the tissue they engulf they whatever whatever fighting is going on over there whatever pathogens are over there they engulf them and destroy them Right? That is what the monocytes do. What is uh, eosinophils? Okay, they will fight the parasites which are involved in allergies. So they have different functions. All right. And then we have what are the basophils? They release histamine during the allergic in a reaction. So they all these are different types of uh, white blood cells and they have their own uh, characteristics and their own functions to deal with the uh, deal inside the human body. Right. Now, when we're talking about white blood cell, we have to talk about red blood cells as well. So what are red blood cells? So uh, red blood cells are those which carry what? They carry the oxygen, isn't it? That is the most important uh, function. They carry oxygen to various portions of the body. How do they do it? With the help of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a molecule, right? Which will, uh, in, on which the oxygen will get attached right and that will be transferred to various portions of the body that is the most important thing what is the uh, what is how does it look like it looks like a disc which increases its surface area right increases its surface area all right that is uh, that is another thing so uh, red blood cells are those they are again a part of the blood only 
right? And just like white blood cells, right? White blood cells are part of the immune system. They produce immunity based cells and this, these cells are responsible for carrying the oxygen from one part of the body to the another part of the body. They have a lifespan of almost like 120 days. Right? And another very important uh, uh, factor or another very important fact about this particular red blood cells are that mature RBCs, you have to remember this, mature RBCs do not have the nucleus. Alright, mature RBCs do not have nucleus. So these facts about red blood cells, I think you will be good to go for the examination. All right.